Goodness gracious, this animation is nothing like season 2. Let's hope the story doesn't bore me as I continue to my recap of 7 Daily Sins in X amount of minutes. Play that intro. The season starts and already I'm done after seeing the level of sensory they're doing now. But we continue. We see Elizabeth regain her memories about how she was cursed to die every time she regained her memories. And also how Melio is also cursed to live forever. And the curse was placed on him by the King of Demons and the Supreme Deity for Meliodas and Elizabeth portraying both of their clans. So with Elizabeth now regaining her memories, there's a new mission. They need to get the power of the Demon King and then they need to break this curse. Let's see what they do. Pathetic. It's time you stop being that woman slave. <laughs> the last you are. After Meliodas gets baited by Illusion of Zeldris, made by Melascula, Meliodas knows if he goes all out, he will lose all self-control and become the true demon form, aka when he was the leader of the Ten Commandments. But Melascula knowing his one weakness, she threatens to kill Elizabeth. Then... <laughs> Melios becomes who he used to be because when he died he lost his emotions and his emotions currently lie in purgatory aka hell so you take a Meliodas with no emotion and his full power and what do you get you get the leader of the ten commandments Meliodas and next to him to beat his ass is my main man Escanor. this fight for months and months was so hype and it was so let down everyone knew season one and season two their animation was so good but then with the whole entire hiatus from seven daily sins and everyone spoiling how they're gonna fight and then we got this oh my gosh and i do know one major thing it's not the animator's fault it's the person who leads the animator's fault because the animator only gave them six months to work on season three when in fact they need at least a year and that's why i don't blame the animators i only blame the leader of the animators for making such a poor decision and overstressing them and quite literally giving us an underdeveloped product that honestly i would have been okay waiting another six months to see a very hype fight between Escanor and meliotis they may have dabbled up a little bit so it doesn't look as bad as it originally did but trust me if they had just a little more time they could have made it so good because this is also the same studio that animated konosuba and konosuba looks clean but bad corporate decisions aside after the fight with meliotis and Escanor, the team rushes to go finish off zeldris so peace can return to the lands. But on their way, they find an issue that Meliodas woke up, took Elizabeth, and said he will become the next Demon King and break the curse on them both. Then he dips. So everyone, depressed, comes up with an idea to retrieve Meliodas' emotion by sending Bon, aka the Mortal One, to Purgatory. And back with Meliodas and Elizabeth, Elizabeth is not a damsel in distress. Elizabeth smacks Meliodas for him not listening to her and trying to do his own thing. She leaves because she knows there's a better way to stop this curse. But for Meliodas, he's like, nope, and already absorbs four commandments goes into his metamorphosis but Escanor and the others disagree and penetrate that bubble that shields Meliodas during his metamorphosis and that ends season three my rank for the season is a c minus Honestly, most part of the season just didn't impact the story at all. Like how King and Diane did a trial and at the end, they only got a power up. And of course, the animation can turn off many people, but I do ask you guys to give them a little bit of slack. Cause remember, it's not the animators, it is the corporate executives. Subscribe, I'll see you guys next week. You guys stay safe and peace. Well,